This is Carl, and this is his awesome tiger, Romeo. And Carl has raised Romeo since Romeo was a little itty bitty kitten. And uh, because of that, he's still a little kitten. He's still a little kitten. Because of that, Carl is able to go in with Romeo and uh, not get eaten yet, right? Not yet. Wow. No scores yet. How about this little one? How old is Romeo? Uh, he'll be four September. September 20 something. You'd have to ask his mom. She knows. Four years. So he's not that old. No. He's still. He'll be four. Just starting to become not a kid anymore. How much do you think he weighs? If I had to guess, um, I haven't weighed him since he was like 300 pounds. I would say he's probably 425, maybe. Yeah. I'd say 425 would be fair. I think just give or take, you know, could be a little more, a little less. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if he was 450 though. Wow. Janie always feeds from the outside right there, and which means he has to walk up here on the platform when she feeds him. Oh, okay. So all we did was just started calling it a platform. And now he knows. And now and you he can knows. tell him yes. go on your platform. It's time to eat, and he'll go right. into. Expecting that he's so when we'd walk in, we'd say go to your platform, and we would, you know, go over there on the outside. Well, he then figured it out where I can stand outside and not have any food and tell him. Now, of course, he is food motivated, so he's going to do it much quicker if I have food. But he knows what his platform is, even when we're when I'm over here. And over like, there, you can say platform, and he'll yeah, come and go like to his when platform. I came in now, I, I had the bowl, I had his food, and I told him to go to the platform because I won't come in with the food until he makes his way towards the platform because I'm not going to be over there in that area with him trying to get it while I'm trying to walk over here and yeah he doesn't you know he's gentle but if he wanted to take a swat at it to, to get the piece of chicken out of my hand or something you know become very dangerous very quick. there's not much you could really do right well you know he wouldn't do it on purpose but if his claw caught me it would immediately hook into me yeah you know wow and it's crazy how trained he is that you know there's the food sitting right there right in there right right and he's waiting for you to give it to him he's not reaching in trying to grab right. it out well, there i can, I can set just... it here i can set it here too and tell him that he can't have it and he'll just listen to the command yeah he's 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 learned that when i tell him no it's it's no you want this ah, 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 ah. But once it's in my hand, it's fine. You don't ever, if you're going to work with them like this, you don't ever want to give them the bowl. Okay. Because they will become possessive of the bowl. And they'll protect it. And they'll protect it, right. He would even growl at me if I gave him the bowl and then tried to take it from him. Then it's like you're going after his food. Right. Wow. Get this one. I'm gonna get this big one. Alright, one wing at a time. One one wing at a time. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Hi. This one? Are you just feeding the wings one at a time? Yeah. <laughs> we have a routine. We do wings, wings, then we do body. Here, eat the body. This is our this is our routine for eating. We do wing wing, we eat the body, and then I'll give them right down the middle. They're so tender and juicy. Fingers. It's just one piece at a time. Wow. One piece. And this is this is Romeo's mom right here. Hi. This All is it Janie. Is routine. You have eye boogers. You have eye boogers. Fingers. Good boy. Hey guys, this is uh, Bandit the Alligator, and uh, he's a big guy. Check him out, say hi to him. And he's, he's a pretty friendly alligator, look at him. He's like, you can pet him, and uh, 
So you gotta be careful because he is a wild animal and uh, even if you work with him, you, everybody can have a bad day, right? So, um, but super cool alligator. Uh, I've known Bandit since 2012. And he's is very this one nice. Of ones you caught? What's that? Is this one of the ones you caught? Uh, we actually got this guy in Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi? Oh, yeah. in Mississippi? Yeah, this is one of the ones that wow. came from Mississippi. So, he's a good boy. He's nice and calm. What's Everybody thinks that Casper is the only nice alligator. I mean, I've habituated over 20 alligators to be nice like this, along with the rest of the team. But you can train any alligator to be a Yeah, it more. just takes time. You know, there's definitely personality involved. Some are definitely more prone to be nice than others, but you can take any alligator. It just takes time. You can get them to be nice and calm, too. And was he a nuisance alligator in Mississippi, or was yeah. he a pet, or what? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hey guys, I am hanging out with all our new baby wolves. Check this out. This is Martha right here. Say hi to Martha. Hi guys. Um, what are these guys' names? So, only one has a name so far and this is Freydis. The other two, we are actually going to auction off the naming of them during our annual Halloween fundraiser. Oh, he's, trying to get the, the he's trying to get the selfie stick, guys. Yep, and the GoPro, if anything. Oh, so they're actually going to get a chance to name these guys. The public will actually get a chance to name the other two. Yes, they will. How old are they? So these guys were born in March, April, May, June, July, August. So five months old. Five months. Oh. And what is their story? So they came here from a different facility and they are permanent residents here. They are wolf hybrids, so they are a mixture of gray wolf and dog we're not sure of the exact content you have to be able to tell when you do a dna test. oh so you'd have to have it have a dna uh, test to, test. to tell yep, to how much dog how much gray wolf how yep. but we treat them with the respect that we would treat a gray wolf with because genetically you don't know in their situations if something happens will they respond as a dog or are they going to respond as a wolf but you see her paws how they posture out yeah that's an indicator the in the ears that there's some mix in them <gasps> what are you doing sneaking up on me 